I hacked the Pentagon for self-incriminating evidence of Republican manufactured white powder pestilence, Marine Corps flak vest with the guns and ammo, spitting bars like a demon stuck inside a piano. YouTube salute. All right, so Stephen A. Smith, he goes at Kyrie Irving and Dwight Howard for boycotting NBA return. So if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, cast your vote for Kofi's Hip Hop Hall of Fame. The link is in the description. So if you don't know by now, Kyrie Irving and Dwight Howard were all over the news this past weekend. They expressed concerns with returning um, to the NBA and continuing um, the NBA season that's going to be held in Orlando, Florida now. So right now, they feel that um, racial equality and justice for the atrocities committed by police against black people is more of a concern than going back to work. Stephen A. Smith, he was on Get Up this morning and he voiced his opinion and told Kyrie and Dwight Howard they were ill-informed on the matter. And he feels, <laughs> he said that racial inequality won't evaporate tomorrow that the years and maybe even decades of work must be done to eradicate white supremacy white supremacy excuse me with this in mind he also feels that to cancel the season is um as a form of protest is something they shouldn't do and they should just go out there and just play and the reason why they should play is because them stopping this season is not going to um is not going to end white supremacy tomorrow and people has been doing this and been doing this and been doing this. You can actually play in the NBA, play this season, and still have some type of social reform going on. All right, so let me jump in right now. Stephen A. Smith, like this, I mean, it's always like a weird situation with him. Like one minute, it's like, damn, he's saying some good shit. The next minute, he's saying some dumb shit. I know what Kyrie Irving is doing. Kyrie Irving feels like, listen, even though he's not playing this season because he's, um, recovering from injuries and Dwight Howard, you know, he's looking like it'll be nice to get my first ring, but at the same time, I feel like I want to help out, help the people out. I know where this is going. If basketball players in the NBA and majority of the basketball players in the NBA are black, let's say like 70 to 75%. If they was to say, we ain't playing, you know what type of stance that makes? That makes a big, big, big leap to say like wow they're not going to play you can hurt these white owners pockets like <laughs> and it would actually shift not just the energy but the paradigm shift to could show the world like hey enough is enough we're going to control everything moving forward and this is what we're doing i feel like it's a great move if kyrie irving and the other nba players were to all stand together in solidarity and show like, hey, we are the employees, but they come see us. We the superstars. So you know what? This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to use our platform. Y'all going to listen to us, and we're going to go out there and help the people on social media, in the streets, at these protests, whatever they can do, whatever they can do. And I feel like that's a great move. Like I said, I'm 50-50 with the, them going back to the NBA. If they go back, I understand some of these people have families they want to feed, so I can't be mad at them on that level. But at the same time, I think it's a big step. It's a huge step. Look at Ali. Look at Jim Brown. Look at Colin Kaepernick. You know, look at um, Tommy Smith in the Olympics and stuff. All these people that took a political stance, they use they used a platform for a bigger and better cost. And when I see this, I love this because it just shows as a black man, especially dealing with it, dealing with this um, American society, it's like, yo, we're going to fight back. And I, I, Stephen A. Smith is easier said than done to tell them to go back to work. It's like, if you was putting your shoes, putting their shoes, excuse me, I know he, he will go back to work. He's, 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 he's not that, he's not built to say no, he's not built to ruffle feathers, to go against the grain. That's not his M.O. And I ain't mad at him not being this emo because everybody don't need to be doing something they need to be doing. Kyrie Irving has always been um, very eloquent when it, and his stance is like, you know, I'm going to say what I need to say. He's not scared to say what he wants to say. A lot of people are scared to speak up because they know what comes with that. They know they can be blackballed, you know, it, 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 and he don't care. He's looking like, you know what, I'm a. I'm going to speak my speakers if I don't. Then it's like you hurt not just yourself your family, 
but you hurt your fans because the people looking up to you and you showing other young black men out here like, yo, wow, Kyrie Irving speaking up? Dang, like, you know, you supposed to lead by example, especially when you're in this position because people are like, oh, they're not heroes, they're not mentors. Yes, they are because somebody wants to be like Kyrie Irving. Some of my clients I train mention Kyrie Irving. they like, he's my favorite player. They love him. So when they hear and see Kyrie Irving making moves like this, they want to do the same thing. Like, wow, I want to stand up and be strong like that too. Like my dad used to always tell me, if you ain't going to stand up for nothing, you'll fall for anything. Like, you have to take a stance regardless if it's going against your own family, your friends. If it's something that makes you feel good, it's something that you can be happy about at the end of the day. When you go to bed at night and you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm glad I did that. Let me know what you think. Are you Do you agree with Kyrie Irving or do you agree with um, Stephen A. Smith? Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon on patreon.com forward slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.